it's wonderful to welcome uh, Prime Minister Letta to the Oval Office. Uh, we have had a chance to get to know each other uh, over the last uh, several international summits that we've attended, and uh, I, I couldn't be more impressed with uh, the Prime Minister's uh, integrity and thoughtfulness and, and leadership. Uh, I want to congratulate him on uh, having won uh, a vote of confidence and passing a budget. I think it's clear that Italy uh, is moving in the right direction in stabilizing uh, its finances uh, and embarking on reforms that will make it more competitive. And we spent a lot of our time discussing uh, the importance of uh, European growth, that uh, with high unemployment, uh, particularly youth unemployment, uh, and uh, you know, the challenges that have been created since 2008, uh, as well as the challenges within the Eurozone. Uh, I think it's important for all of us to coordinate, and uh, the United States obviously is not part of Europe, but we have a great interest in Europe, because uh, if Europe is, is doing well, uh, that means that we're doing well also. So uh, we discussed how we could partner on a strong growth agenda. Part of that growth agenda is uh, the transatlantic partnership agreement, the trade agreement that uh, we're trying to shape between uh, the European Union and the United States. Uh, we've had several meetings already on that. And I know Prime Minister Lada is a strong uh, proponent of expanding what is already a very important trade relationship uh, between the United States and Europe. So uh, given the fact that he will be uh, ascending to the presidency of uh, the European Commission. Uh, it's a great opportunity for his leadership to uh, assert itself during those negotiations. Uh, we also talked about our security cooperation, and Italy has been an outstanding partner, a NATO ally, uh, on issues ranging from Libya to Syria uh, to counterterrorism efforts. Uh, consistently, Italy uh, has been a strong partner, and obviously, it's been an outstanding host to. Uh, our men and women uh, who serve uh, in the region. And so we very much thank the Italian people as well as uh, the Prime Minister for uh, their st uh, strong support there. Uh, on Libya, we agreed that uh, we want to continue to work with other international partners to uh, strengthen uh, the security capacity of the Libyan government. Uh, there's enormous potential and hope for the Libyan people. Uh, but what they need now is uh, a government that is representative and inclusive uh, and uh, can provide the basic security as well as the basic services uh, that will help uh, the Libyan people achieve that potential. And I think that uh, we both share an interest in uh, finding ways in which we can help uh, uh, the Libyans uh, move forward. Uh, with respect to Syria, we uh, have been pleased uh, to see not only the UN resolution, but also now the concrete efforts to get chemical weapons out of Syria. And uh, Italy has been very supportive of that effort, uh, and we both believe that it's important to build off that success, uh, or at least uh, that good start, uh, to also talk about the humanitarian suffering that the Syrian people are uh, experiencing. Italy has been a contributor to the humanitarian efforts there, uh, and we want to partner with them uh, to find ways to uh, not only relieve the suffering, but also uh, to implement a political transition uh, that can uh, allow people to return to their homes uh, and end the killing uh, that's been taking place there. Um, and we had a chance to talk about Afghanistan. Uh, Italian troops have been uh, extraordinary in their sacrifice and their efforts uh, in uh, helping to create an Afghanistan that is secure and safe uh, for the Afghan people. We very much appreciate it. We talked about how uh, well uh, our militaries coordinate with each other uh, and uh, the genuine uh, partnership that has been created. And we both reaffirmed our commitment to make sure that when we end combat uh, activities in Afghanistan at the end of 2014, uh, that uh, we are in a position to leave behind uh, an Afghanistan that has a strong professional security service uh, and a government that is uh, 
meeting its obligations to all its people, uh, including uh, all ethnic groups uh, and uh, women uh, and others who have started to see greater opportunities and greater freedoms uh, over the past several years. Uh, and uh, again, I want to say to the Italian people and to Prime Minister uh, Led in particular, uh, we're grateful for your friendship. Uh, I, I think everybody understands the closeness between uh, Italy and the United States uh, is not just because of uh, a friendship between leaders, but also because of the incredible history and, and the people-to-people -people relations between our two countries. Uh, Italian Americans in this country uh, have helped to make 